What's good, sports gamers? And today I'll be going over with you some tips to help improve your pitching in MLB The Show 22 to give you a nice baseline to succeed instead of relying on perfects going right at your fielders. So, all right, let's get it. Now, one thing you're going to want to consistently focus on to help improve your pitching is how your opponent reacts to the pitch and their timing on it. As this tells you very valuable information about what to do next. Take an inside fastball, for example. If the hitter is early on it, there's about a 99% chance they're sitting fastball and just got a bit too eager there. So what this is telling you is be careful here and maybe another fastball is probably not the best thing to do. And instead, take advantage of them sitting heater by getting them to roll over or straight up miss something away or bust them even more inside and test their patience once they see it's another fastball. Now, if they were super late, it's a different story. And this is where you might want to start setting up shop high and in on them until they can prove they can catch up to it. Opposed to them being early, proving they were caught up to it a little too much. This isn't the be all end all guideline, but how they react to different pitches can guide you towards what type of pitches you can mix in and what you can throw to get the batter out. Now something that sometimes is hard to make note of in the middle of a game, but can help you in the long run is not getting beat by your opponent's 8 hole hitter early in the game with 2 outs. And won't be the show 22 isn't like real life yet and they force your pitchers to still hit. So what do I look like giving an 8 hole hitter who probably has 90 plus power on both sides something to drive when the pitcher is next up? Once it gets to around the 5th or 6th inning year, they're more likely to pinch hit if the situation calls for it. But otherwise, you want to be as close to intentionally walking them without doing so as possible. Work the corners if you must, go inside and hope they chase. Otherwise, keep your head held high and have your opponent fighting themselves to not sub out their pitcher with the run on first. If you hold the right trigger button while pitching, the game will show you your pitch history against that specific batter the last time he was up. So you can find out what pitch and where it was located that he hit 500 feet or that pitch sequence you struck him out on. This can give you key information on how you're going to attack the hitter next time up and what mistakes to avoid that your opponent surely hasn't forgotten about. Now in your settings if your defensive shift is set to auto the game will make shifts for you depending on the type of hitter you're facing with this mostly happening against left handed batters. So you're going to want to make sure you're pitching towards the shift and not away from it when it's activated. It helps nobody if all your fielders are lined up to the right and you're throwing away pitches to left handed batters. So if he hits it, it's an easy single and possibly a double because the left fielder and third baseman are in the middle of the field. Next I want to go over with you, especially if you're new to the series, finding the pitching interface you're most comfortable with as fast as possible as each offers their own specific pros and cons. With analog and pinpoint, which has been adjusted this year, they offer more user control over the outcomes of your pitches, while classic will rely on the pitcher's ratings with you just pressing the pitch button. While post is the easiest, and meter pitching has you start the meter and attempting to stop it directly inside the yellow line, which puts you more at risk for early and late pitches, which as a result causes your pitches to drop and rise where you don't want them. Now, if your pitcher possesses a cutter or a sinker, you might want to add a decent helping of front and back door pitches to sneak in for strikes and better yet punch outs as they start as if they're going to be for a ball before hitting the edge of the strike zone at the last second. Something like throwing nothing but inside pitches then throwing a back door sinker for a punch out is an example of something you can mix in. Now, speaking of pitching interfaces, let's talk about pinpoint real quick which is the newest pitching mechanic in MLB The Show that was introduced last year. And it's broken down into three parts. The first is how well you trace the given pitch's motion, with each pitch having a different motion and nail. The second is how well you time swinging the right stick down to put it into position to land inside the closing circle at the bottom. And the third is how close you actually land it inside the circle to complete the perfect pitch. Classic, it will display yellow arrows around the ball that show you the break of the pitch and where it will end up relative to where you aim the ball at. So the ball is your starting point and if the pitch you selected has any type of break, there will be a yellow arrow that will lead you to a bigger transparent circle, which is called your perfect accuracy region. And this represents the area the pitch can land in if you nail whatever pitching interface you're using correctly. 
The circle will be bigger or smaller depending on the accuracy of the pitcher. And setting your ball marker to pitch trail will have you set where you want the ball to end up and the path it will take to get there. The better your opponent, the more they will have absolute command of the strike zone and won't get themselves out, which is where the need for you to be able to tunnel your pitch as well will be absolutely essential. For those unaware, a short definition is making different pitches the pitcher throws look the same up to the point the opponent has decided he's swinging at the pitcher now, and have them end up in completely different places. And if you have a couple pitches that have a nice speed difference, even better. When playing online, start to make note of your tendencies to stay ahead of the hitter as they gain more information on you. After a slider down and away, are you always trying to throw a fastball up and in? If so, your opponent will start to make note of that after the third try. They still might not be able to hit it, but they're going to be more aware that you're going to throw it. So maybe throw another slider or an inside fastball out of the zone to keep them from sitting on it. If you're living on a healthy diet of change-ups in the dirt strikeouts, what's your backup plan if they stop swinging at it? Do you love a good backdoor sinker? After a while, they will start to gear up on it. Have a backup plan to keep yourself ahead of the hitter if they do adjust and start sitting on what you're doing or avoiding it entirely. If your opponent has a speedy runner on first, you're going to want to speed up your delivery time to the plate to increase your chances of throwing them out if they do run. And you do this by holding the left trigger on your controller after selecting your pitch. And when you begin your motion, you will throw from the stretch. Be warned, as a result of speeding up your delivery, it will also speed up whatever pitching interface you're using. So be aware of the increased chances of messing up and grooving something right down the middle. You can also add a little deception by throwing from the stretch even if they don't have a speed guy on by throwing off your opponent's timing as a lot of hitters will sit fastball if they see you throwing from the stretch for the first time and whiff if something else comes at them. And the next time you can throw the fastball then when their mind is automatically thinking about that changeup you just threw from the stretch the first time. You can really add extra mind games with this tactic. Now to look over at the runner you want to hold the left trigger for about 2 seconds after selecting your pitch and your camera will change to the runner on base. So you can peek over to the base runner and hit the corresponding bases button on your controller if he's trying to get a little extra greedy with his lead off. And lastly, if you selected a pitch and quickly changed your mind about it, hitting the left bumper on your controller will cancel the pitch for you. So right, sports gamers, I hope this video was able to help you out. And if you like the content we provide, make sure to subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more MLB The Show 22 content. And once you're with us, hit that bell icon at the bottom so you don't miss anything we put out. All right, people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching, and be good, y'all.